Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia. When we were all of me, Demox, when we last left off, we had got our, our escape pod ready. We removed those heavy bulky chain cutters, and we just finished a conversation with our girlfriend. I better not touch this again. It's all set up and ready to go. Yep, I don't think it's going to go well. Okay. Hand torch. Now is when it counts. Hullabaloo. Okay. Well, this, this, never gonna, this is not going to go wrong. We are f perfectly fine. This is going to go so swimmingly smooth. It's fantastic. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Uh-oh. <laughs> Find the list. Suitcase. Unpack your things again. Pack something. He did all this lot. Uh, fortunately, the I uh, did all that, and turns out the screws were you know were clinging to the oh, organon cruiser and uh, heading to, for elysium. Okay. Uh, keep going. The only thing we have left, though. Whew, what a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here, too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. Uh, suitcase. Provisions, come with me. Socks. Before and the toothbrush before it decides to run off again. Hey, you can't go the toothbrush? Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. A well oiled gearbox. Wow. I have the laser on it. A wire grating. There's a shaft leading upward behind it. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh! I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here <laughs> got a bolt cutter? <laughs> and that's why we had the bolt cutter. Ah, hatch. Not a chance. I'd need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. Okay, so. Can we, where else can we go to, Camille? Go for these I'll ones? save my telekinetic powers for later. I can't actually do anything right now. So right now it's everything's going on that one and coming out of these. Okay. So let's see. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Okay. I'll never be able to open it with that. Okay, we'll go over the other Why? of these. Those are still good. As long as the hatch is closed, I can't put a sock on it. Right. I need something to do something with this place. I need the right item. I think there'll be provisions. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll never be able to open it with that. 
Alright, so we haven't really got anything to work with. Let's try combining that and... Not a I bust my butt to get this stuff out of the sofa cracks. <laughs> I haven't worked that hard for food in years. Not a chance. I bust my oh. butt to get... <laughs> okay. What's this? I guess we got this lot. We didn't unfortunately have a bolt cutters. So we had a um, bit of a problem there. No, there's nothing else I actually interact with. Yeah, I'm getting. I better leave it. Can I put the socks in the cogs? It already has plenty of oil stains. I'll never be able to open it with that. Okay, so that's not going either. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba and thus, folks, we hit the unwinnable part of the game where we can no longer get in advance. Hmm, the colors must have something to do with the conveyor belts. Yeah, it's all coming out of this one here. And it's going into this one here. I'll save my telekinetic. How do I get out of here? Even the system doesn't say I've got anything. Do I have to wait or something? Okay, talk to you for now. Hey, that went uh, well. I didn't. We are on board of the Organon Cruiser, one of the most important of Rufus's steps towards Elysium. And what makes this room especially important is, of course, the introduction of our female protagonist. And what a coincidence! She's right next to me here in the studio, and that's Goal. Hello, Goal. Hello, Pokey. Maybe hey. you could just tell us straight from the heart what it was like when you first met Rufus. And also how you cope with the dicey situation right now. Um, I was told there was a script. Oh, you, <laughs> oh, uh -huh. you, you thought we'd write dialogue and that this whole thing would be in any way organized. Uh, well, well, we thought it would be a better approach if we just, um, there's no script. Right. Um, really well done. Well, well, well okay, oh, crap. Uh, John? Just to get this straight, didn't you say I don't need to write a script? That's what uh -huh. you said, didn't you? No, Pokey. I said you need to write a script. Ah. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Uh, he said I won't need, uh, cross my heart. And um, I clearly remember him saying... Um, uh, oh, another stroke of genius. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's way too exciting right now to listen to our very elaborated developer's commentary anyway, and I can totally understand if you want <laughs> to be playing now. <laughs> yeah, it was a hill you haven't fought for me. I don't know what to do. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Ah. Hey, aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Ah, see, so the provisions. Oh, we are. Okay. Hey! Aggress- yeah. Right, so let's try. Some sequence of events I'll do.
Uh, right, we just... Cool. <laughs> Not as strong anymore, are we? No, we I'll have... save my telekin... Oh, that yet. Okay. It's overqualified, like me. Okay. Ha! Right down. <laughs> I am the Wasabi P in the gearbox of the Organon. Ha! Okay, can't do anything else now. But it could get that open. Oh, uh, I guess she's not coming to the scene. This is unbelievable. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait yes. until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Goal. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Yep. Holy smoke! A real orbit pixie! I bet you'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! Uh, that's um... I want the green one. Haha! <laughs> Take that! No! Don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops. Oops. Guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon men! Throw him overboard! Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? Fatoo! Fatoo! First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Fatoo! Uh... Uh-oh. Fatoo! Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. That Ow. Had to hurt. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Uh, I don't think we managed to get stay on the ship. Reroute plan. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This way. Find goal. Hatch new plan to get to Elysium. <laughs> I think the plan's got. I think this plan maybe like going a bit further down this way and um, a bit uh, a bit more this way and uh, maybe a bit more this way. Well, and then the second page will turn over just like keep, keep, keep going. We we'll get eventually though. Right. Uh, where is? Everything must be clicked up. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. Well, that could spell anything. I think it's the sheriff. Hmm. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't have... Oh, I lost my wasabi peas in me. Handy... You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Uh, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. <laughs> Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> if anything, he seems even more bored now. Uh, yeah, I don't think that works, but... Can't open that truck door. Can I open the truck door? Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Okay, so I can't do anything in this theme right now, but I can go to the village center. Well, I traveled a fair bit. What's going on here? Ugh. 
I was almost on the Elysium. I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. <laughs> that's, that's the one way of getting a town voter. That's one way of getting your townsfolk to um, become active in your town again. If you're not going to be active, I will tax you. The base center, town hall, to, into the alley, to Tony's shop. Windsor's house. We didn't draw that far out of it. To village center. Okay. Mad back to Tony's house? Yeah, let's find out what's going on with the town hall here. Yeah, there's a bit of a big hoo ha. Dum be dum be dum be dum be dum boom boom. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting <coughs> draw a waiting number and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So uh -huh. move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. <laughs> uh, okay. And what's our waiting number, then? Number 66. Almost my lucky number. Uh, who are you? Opening hours. Uh, Mickey, Loti, girl who's not doing anything. So these guys are all essentially now want to claim the girl, but we have all we we are all, we have the the other one who came, pulled her forth from the sky. Magnets. Mine. The mayor wants to decide what who will what. Give her shelter. Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and it someone be. has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Uh huh. Rufus. Rufus. Huh? Oh, what? <laughs> the girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Uh, okay, how do I get well, to the mayor? How do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. That's not really a... See, the thing is, she's an Elysium. If she's fallen from the sky, and she's way, way, way better dressed than you guys, there's a good chance she's not from your current part of the world. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... 
Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Oh, really? Nice. I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh... That's it for this episode, folks. The, um... No, really. No, let me go. really. Let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. And half sad. I'll skedaddle. Alright, so he's... Tell you on him, is, he doesn't say anything, it's Mickey, it's Lobo here. So, we have to now get into the line, or ahead of the line, to uh, talk to the girl. To find out about the girl. So we need to do something in here. Actually, we just need to do something in general, to be honest. But that, folks, is for next time. So until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya. Ah, this plan going so smoothly. My clockwork.